<laughs> she really does. You'll know what I'm talking about in just a second. Whether she is acting on screen, singing on Broadway, or cooking in our kitchen, she makes us happy. Today she is here making her Italian family's favorite. Please welcome back our good friend, Christy Carlson Romano. Welcome back, Christy. <laughs> Oh, I always love coming. This is like, oh, seriously, you're such a fan. Such a it fam. really is. <laughs> It really is, and this is, speaking of fam, this yep. is your one of your family's favorite recipes. Your dad used to make this for you growing up, didn't he? Yes, yes he did. So this is a Christmas dish, a Christmas Eve dish um, that we absolutely enjoyed partaking in. It was the uh, Italian families do the Feast of the Seven Fishes, right? right? So uh, we had a wonderful time tasting the lobsters. My dad would always say, Aww. there he is right there. Bless his heart, I love him so much. He would be so happy to, to know that I'm doing this in his name and his Aww. honor. Aww. Um, yeah. He's here with us, I know it. Yeah. Yeah, so here are his baked clams, guys. So I'm, I'm really excited to, to share the recipe. Okay, let's make your dad proud. What's your dad's name? Uh, Anthony. Anthony. Tony. Tony Romano. Tony. This is for Tony, Tony. Romano. Tony. We know you're with us, Tony. We <laughs> love you, Dad. Yeah, he's up there with my dad. Yeah. The Greek and the Italian together. I bet they're eating. <laughs> they're eating <laughs> clams <laughs> and probably some sort of Greek salad. <laughs> All right, Ali, Larissa, and Elsie are waiting patiently are to find yeah. out. Yeah. Okay, great. So right. most people steam their clams in water. Yes, very you important. You steam yours, or your dad steamed his, in white wine. Why? Yeah. Well, you know, it just gives it more flavor. Yeah, it's true, and it's and you're gonna make a sauce out of it after, which gives it a little kick. Yeah, too. absolutely. How long do we have to steam this for? Six to ten minutes. They'll pop open. The ones that don't pop open, you're not going to want to use. Mm. Yeah, if they don't pop open, toss them out. Yes. Wow. Oh, look so how big look how and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful those, are, those are. So if they don't pop open, that's because they're not ready. It's not the right clam. They're not alive. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you don't want to eat it. Right. You get very <laughs> well, well, Lizzie, they're dead. <laughs> so we need to have a talk. <laughs> having said that, you probably just should just leave them alone. Yeah. <laughs> so then you take them out, you cool them down, and you remove them from their shell, yes. and you, you chop them up yep, like this, chop them right? Up. Yep. Okay, so now it's time for us to make our delicious clam stuffing. Yes. That's basically what it is. It's a clam <laughs> stuffing. Yeah, exactly. It's actually, it's easier than you think. I always, growing up, I would always think that things were, were really hard when your parents were doing it, and then you actually make them, and you're like, eh, this is good. I can actually yeah. take this yeah. easy. This can be a tradition that I have. So, so here we've got our shallots. Um, we've got our celery, and, of course, butter. Oh, <laughs> that's all butter? Oh my gosh, I love that. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start dumping our ingredients here in to make our stuffing. Okay. We've got our chopped clam. Chopped clams. That's garlic. Do we add the garlic yes. like this or in there? Um, I'd, uh, I'd prefer to do it like this. Okay, so um, put that in there. This is gonna bake anyway. All right, oh, um, that's right. Let's get our breadcrumbs. I will give you this. Are these Italian breadcrumbs? Uh, mm, they don't really need oh, to be. Okay. They don't need to be because you have enough flavor um, happening. You have, you know, you have your oregano, you have your salt and pepper. All right. And, and your lemon juice and your clam juice. And of course, cheese. Mm. <laughs> what kind of cheese? It's pecorino. Oh, nice. Mm. Bam. Yummy. So flavorful. <laughs> Can I say that or that's someone else's thing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they've copywritten the word bam, but yeah. if they have, I guess we're all in trouble. <laughs> There you go. Um, a little bit of uh, that was lemon juice. This is the clam juice, right? From the actual clams. You can, you can use it from that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Some people right. actually use canned clams, but my dad always liked going to the fishmonger. Oh, I love he that. He loved doing that, sure. and that was something that we loved to do together. Yeah. We would pick out the fishes over Christmas. So okay. Anyone wanting to do seven fishes, this is sort of a fun tradition. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, yes. And how long does that take to get all yummy and gooey like that? Uh, well, I mean, as soon as we start to, to like, as soon as these are translucent, um, oh. you, can, you can really just prepare all of this. And then once we mush it together, we can start to fill the clams. Okay. Now, what if it's a bit too, what was this, did we say? That's oregano. Okay, what was, what if it's a or bit? Or is it parsley? That's is, parsley. You can also have oregano too. You can have thyme, you can do anything that you want to uh, adapt to this so that it tastes more Italian, less Italian. Right, whatever you like. <laughs> Depends on whatever you like. Now, if it feels a little too dry, yeah. Would we add a little more clam juice? This is a good consistency. It is? Right now. Okay. Yeah, this is a really good, because think about it, you're, you're kind of mushing it together. Right. You don't okay. want it too, too wet, not too dry. Okay, yeah. now we mush. Let's mush. Okay. <laughs> so now here's the thing. <laughs> I like to use my hands. It's okay. Yeah. I saw you wash them mine. before we started, okay. so I'm okay with that. Okay, all right, let's do it. I, I well, okay, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> all right, so. Italian, They're your best tool. And honestly, like, just growing up in an Italian household, we used our hands a lot for meatballs. And, all right. And mm. dough and anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead, and you can, you can make them quite, like, you know, robust if you want. You can have that or you can just make them like that. Those are really like, That's nice. That's beautiful. Well yeah. done. Yeah. And also you could keep the shells. You can keep the shells. And keep using them? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Once you, once you have them, 
you can keep them for you know Christmas is to come if you wanted to. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you go over there and wash your hands okay. if you want. <laughs> so we would stuff all of these and we pop them in the oven for how long then, Christy? Uh, 25 minutes. 25 minutes at what temperature? 350, please. Oh, okay. That's like, not too hot. Pull oh my gosh, look how beautiful Ooh, that beautiful. is. That's and they're so amazing. crunchy. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. And actually what we needed to do was we need to top them off with paprika, right? So this yes. looks really beautiful. Mm. And I think it just makes it look a little more festive. Oh my That's gosh, nice. I love these. I love those. Yeah. All right, now you've also made a beautiful sauce to go with these because we're going to serve them with linguine. Yes, absolutely. And you've kept some of the clam juice. That we have, we, that we steamed so we our clams the, in, right? Yep, the, the clam juice, the white wine, we've got this nice base that's cooking up here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, we're gonna whisk in the butter. A little more butter. Yes, well, why not? I'm gonna do all the butter. Yeah, just do it all. <laughs> this oh brings gosh. me back, like, linguine and clam sauce, like that was my mom's mm. jam. She yeah. made that for us all the time, and like the smells, and oh, I'm so excited. And then a little bit of this. Was parsley. this more parsley? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We whisk this guy together. God bless you, Larissa. You. <laughs> I was trying <laughs> to hold that in. <laughs> This, I mean, honestly, this sauce in itself and the sauce that you made, just the, the butter good. and the celery mm -hmm. and the shallots, I could maybe just drink that. Yeah, and the wine. <laughs> butter, wine, Wait and for cheese. It. And the wine. And the wine. <laughs> so when this all comes together, we toss our linguine in, right? Yes, yes, okay. exactly. So we'll move this over here. All right, well, you guys are tossing that together. I've got to ask you about your new YouTube channel you just launched. Oh, please do, Christine's yeah. Kitchen Throwback. What yes. can we expect? So it's a lot of fun. And, you know, I have a, a really good time talking to my fans about um, some of the great things that I've done in the past with Disney, um, some great shows. And food is obviously something that everybody loves. Mm -hmm. So right. it's really just the, the intersection between nostalgia and food. Oh. And so we'll have guests that come on, and I haven't seen them for a while, either they're friends or people that I've worked with, or just your favorite throwback stars. And they'll come on, and we will make throwback food from their shows. Oh, nice. Oh. Like what? So Mara Wilson, who is the young girl from Mrs. Doubtfire, Mm -hmm. and also Matilda. There was a little special oh, tart that we made from Matilda and everybody loved it. And then of course I had my Kim Possible sidekick on, Will Friedle, and we oh, made a yes. very special uh, Mexican dish that is central to the Kim Possible world. So we just have a blast and, and we have some really big things coming up too. So. And you need that. to invite more people to the fun. Yes. Yes. I, <laughs> See, I, I love go. that. And I love that you're cooking and you're doing stuff like that because I know that your father would be so, so proud. Well, thank you so much. You know, he would and I, I think that it's really a, a great show because it's fresh, it's young, it's 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 uh, really for millennials. But I think we have a lot of fun with all sorts of different guests too. So. And who doesn't like to remember a great time in their life? I know. Exactly. You know? And who doesn't like Christy Carlson Romano? Hey. hey. And who doesn't like those three things with food? Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank Let's you. get in here. So oh. 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 Okay. Oh. There you go. Not Thank you. you. All right, are we gonna try the clam? Yes. All right. Do it. All right, I'm going into my favorite part. Mm. Wow. I love it. Ooh. Me too. I love it. Mm -hmm. My dad would love it. I got to know what he was doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is delicious. Thank you wow. so much. And for the full recipe, oh visit hallmarkchannel.com and be sure to catch <laughs> new episodes and subscribe to Christie's Kitchen Throwback on YouTube every Thursday. Oh my gosh, so it good. It is amazing.